Hi, my name is Rebecca, and in today's lesson, I'll show you how knowing English well can help you save your hard-earned money. How is that? Well, in English, like in all languages, there are many terms which mean that something is free, and there are many terms that mean that somebody's going to charge you money. So by knowing these terms well, you'll know exactly what's what. Let's look at these words, okay? So on this side, we have the happy face, and that means that all of the expressions here imply that you don't have to pay money or you have to pay less money. Let me explain, okay? So if you see the word free, that means you don't have to pay any money. You get it free. It doesn't cost you any money. Sometimes a product which is given out for example, a company may be introducing a new kind of shampoo and they may give a small sample as uh, for free. That product might be called a freebie, okay? So a freebie is a free item that you receive, all right? You can also see the expression, it's for free. Same thing. You might say, uh, you might see that it says something is free of charge, free of charge. The word charge means money, again, means payment, but free of charge means there's no payment necessary. It's free. Now here's an important one. This is the word complimentary. If you see, when you go to a hotel, for example, that a basket of fruit is uh, left there by the management, it usually says compliments of the management, so it's a complimentary basket of fruit. That means you can eat that particular basket of fruit if it says complimentary basket of fruit because the word complimentary means free. The same way at the hotel, you may receive a complimentary newspaper in the morning. That means you don't have to pay for the newspaper. You may receive a complimentary breakfast. A complimentary breakfast means a free breakfast. So obviously, it's good to know this word because you don't want to miss a free breakfast, right? Okay. Also, very commonly used is the expression on the house. If someone says that something is on the house, it means that it's free. Very often, coffee, for example, might be on the house or drinks might be on the house. That means that the owner of the establishment or the management or the company is going to pay for the coffee, is going to pay for the drinks. You don't have to pay. So if somebody tells you, would you like some? It's on the house. Then say yes if you want that, okay? All right, now the next three items, the reason that I put them separately is because it may mean that you pay something for the item but you don't pay something extra called tax. Most of us know what tax is. So tax is, um, is something that the government charges, money that the government charges on certain items. So if you see that it says that you can get something tax-free, that means you pay for the item, but you don't pay any extra taxes. Tax-free means without tax. Another expression which means exactly the same thing, duty-free. For those of you who've traveled abroad, you know that you can do duty-free shopping, right? At the duty-free shop. That means you can buy those items and you still have to pay for those items, but you don't have to pay any extra taxes. So usually it comes out cheaper for most people. Sometimes the expression tariff-free is used that's not used so much with consumers or with regular shoppers. It's used more between countries. When they trade, there are certain tariff-free zones. Zones where they don't charge uh, extra taxes or tariffs on the import of certain goods. All right, that's slightly different. Um, let's get back to when uh, it means that you don't have to pay any money. No charge, no fee no cost, all of this means that it's free, okay? So that's the good news. 
let's look at the other side of the story. Sometimes you do have to pay and it's important to know when you need to pay. So what are some of these, what are some of the words that you'll see when you do need to pay for items? Um, it might say it costs so much. This item costs uh, $25 or the price of this item is $200. There is a charge for making this telephone call. Okay. All of these words means it's going to cost you money. Uh, there is a payment due on your account, means you have to pay money on your account, perhaps on your credit card, right? If you see the word fee, there is a fee for using this service. So a fee means an extra amount of money that you have to pay for using something. Uh, the word fare, taxi fare, airfare, bus fare. This is a word which means the cost of transportation. All right. But when we see the word fare, you know that it's going to involve money. Also the word commission. Okay. Banks very often charge a commission for providing you with certain services. And that means that it's going to cost extra money to you. Again, we see the words tax and duty and tariffs. All of these imply that the government is charging some extra money on top on certain items, okay, or services. If you see the word premium, for example, you can um, choose a regular seat nowadays on many um, airlines, or you can get an upgrade, but you need to pay a premium. You can get an upgrade to a more comfortable seat, more spacious seat, but you need to pay a premium. That means you need to pay a little bit of extra money. Um, another word which has to do with money is the word interest. Interest is the cost, uh, the extra money that you pay when you borrow money or when you use your credit card and you don't uh, repay the full amount then they're going to start charging you interest. It's the cost of borrowing money. The same as when you get a loan or a mortgage from the bank. A mortgage, for those of you who are not sure, is a very large loan that you get when you buy a house. Okay? Um, other words which refer to money are the words penalty and fine. So penalty and fine are usually like uh, punishment when you do something wrong, maybe you were, uh, you got a driving ticket, maybe you returned your library books late and you need to pay a penalty or a fine, which means some extra money for doing something wrong. Okay. So these words all have to do with money. These words all mean that you're going to get something free. I think it's a good idea to review this vocabulary so that you can take advantage of the situations where something is available free and you also won't have any unpleasant surprises when you are charged for certain goods or services. Okay? If you'd like to do a quiz on this uh, topic, please go to our website www.ingvid.com. Thanks for now and talk to you later. Bye.